Right, don't think I've ever done a selfie with this one before, but um, a bit of an update for how the um, Project Awesome Tesla coil section of the project's coming along during this uh, this lockdown. We're all rather stuck at home. Um, the problem I had with the last lot of Tesla coil experiments I was doing from here was that we uh, had, I kept blowing the house electric, so there's a lot of weird things going on. So I thought really you needed to up our game a little bit just with the power supply section. So. Um, Fortunately, our house, unusually for domestic premises, uh, has one of these. We've got a uh, separate 32 amp um, single phase outlet um, in the futility room, um, which you know can only come in handy for... I mean, my idea is I was going to try and make this thing, which I'll show you in a minute, which will plug into there and give us a few options for... Uh, for distributing power to some of the higher power projects we want. I mean, normally this outlet is used if we sort of have outdoor parties or anything silly. So anyway, that's um, the basis of it. I'll, I'll get through to where the Tower of Power is and um, we'll have a rethink. Uh, we'll have a regroup there. Um, see you in a bit. Okay, so this is um, what I'm calling the, the Tower of Power. Uh, this was well, the framework and everything we fabricated up at Max's um, uh, a couple of weeks ago before the lockdown started, the last time I went round there. So we've cut up some panels and put on, but effectively um, I want to make this into the main power supply where we can get all of the uh, the, the big power that we need for for the uh, the coils. So we'll take a 32 amp supply, uh, in fact I'm just going to grab the camera and we'll give you a bit of a, a walk around the thing. Um, we're going to take the 32 amp supply that you've just seen in the futility room um, that's going to be brought into to this, which is a sort of basically a domestic consumer unit with an RCD and some uh, circuit breakers and things, uh, which we mounted sort of up there, I think. Um, in the bottom, we've got a, I think it's four kVA. Um, it's a 110 volt transformer, but what I've found uh, in the past is it's quite happy to have the 240 volts put backwards into, and I know it's probably dodgy. But that does give us uh, 400 odd volts out, which we can then uh, play around with if we needed to, uh, to double the voltage out. Now, inside currently, I've got a, this is from the last lot of Tesla coil product, I don't know if you can see that in there. Um, I've got a, a bridge rectifier and a, a bit of a sort of capacitor bank in there. Switch out a bit. I'll probably move that into an external box when this is all done. Uh, here we can put various 13 amp sockets, uh, some bits and pieces, maybe some contactors rigged up to it. Maybe a big emergency stop button could be useful for safety's sake. And then on the top here, we've got a really big variac, which will enable us to, to limit the voltage, uh, well, change the voltage, limit the current going into the, the, the coil setup. So this will be like a one-stop shop for all of our power, power supplies. We can rectify a load of uh, mains here and give up to sort of 450 volts DC out at you know, a few kilowatts to uh, to the controller circuits for the coil and it can be wheeled around uh, it'll be fairly fairly bomb proof hopefully uh, with circuit protection and everything I mean, I'm not going to go into details about wiring it up and everything do a video of that because it'll make everything take twice as long and to be honest I don't think it's that interesting probably much better just to explain it all afterwards if anybody wants to know anything about it just I'll just they can always ask so that's the plan for the tower of power i'm gonna get on with getting this wired up and then hopefully it'll be uh, one step closer to getting some some lightning going <laughs> 